Hello everyone and welcome to our uh, second episode uh, from our series of movies about um, the assembly uh, and uh, construction of our uh, NCC 2B44 engine uh, capable of 1 megawatt. So in this episode uh, we will um, make the assembly of the engine and uh, we want to uh, expose some problems we found uh, with the pistons and the rods. After we've made the pre-assembly measurements, we found out that we have two big problems. One of the problem was with the rods and the second one was with the piston. I'll focus first on the rod problem. Uh, when we measured the width of the rod journal on the Alpina crank, we found out that the width of the rod of the rod journal is smaller by six millimeter roughly six millimeter comparing to the n62 b44 stock crank our rods uh, were specifically specifically designed for uh, n62 b44 stock crank so uh, we had to to find the solution to um, to solve this problem uh, the best solution we have found is uh, to CNC machine the, the rods to get them to the desired, uh, desired size so we can work with them. As uh, you can see, uh, on the, we have here uh, two rods, these two. On the normal rod, uh, we, have the, we have a shoulder here, which is uh, more pronounced than the other. In the machine, one we have uh, two equal uh, shoulders. Uh, on this one, we have machined this part to be uh, at the desired measurement. Uh, second big problem was with the pistons. We have ordered last year two sets of uh, forged pistons from a big company from uh, United States. And uh, our requirements uh, were that the pistons uh, are at uh, 11 to 1 compression ratio. So uh, when we received them, we have found that the pistons has uh, had the pistons have a dish on them. So this was a little. Uh, we were a little confused because. Uh, we know that stock pistons on this engine that are at 10 to 1 uh, compression ratio are flat. So it was impossible that uh, at 11.1 the pistons to have a dish. Uh, they, they were supposed to have a dome. So we have uh, made some cal calculations and uh, arrived to the conclusion that uh, the pistons were at uh, 8.3 to one compression ratio. Uh, also, uh, another big problem uh, with the piston was the uh, the length of the rods in the calculations. Uh, the guys that made the order to the manufacturer uh, have mistaken the, uh, the, the, the rod length by one millimeter. So, to solve this problem, uh, the most uh, budget-friendly solution was to, as you can see, to shave the top of the piston by, by one millimeter to uh, reach the desired deck height. Yes, to reach the desired deck height uh, because uh, the calculations for the roads were wrong by one millimeter, so uh, we have uh, solved this problem. Also, having uh, a longer uh, rod we have increased also the compression ratio of the pistons arriving to uh, 9, 9 to 1 uh, compression ratio so it's better for us as my colleague said uh, one of the problems in the order was the rod length that was 138.5 millimeter instead of 139.5 millimeter that means one millimeter difference, but this was not the main cause for the, how I can say, for the big difference in compression ratio. The main cause was the cylinder head CC, 
when they CC the head, they said the head will have around 36 CC, but actually in the real in real measurements, the head has well above 50 52, CC. 52, 52, 52, 52 CC, 52, yes. as my colleague said. So the main problem was there when they calculated the combustion chamber volume, they mistake it by yes, roughly, yeah. roughly CC, so that's a huge difference. As we mentioned in the previous episode, we promise you that probably we'll have also the cylinder head prepared. As you can see here. They are ready? <laughs> yeah, they are almost ready. <laughs> they are waiting to be tidied up on the engine block. Uh, the cylinder head remain in the stock configuration. No modification, no machining was done to, I don't know, to increase to be, flow or to something. Increase, no, nothing. As my colleague said, nothing, not no modification was done. Only they have been refurbished, cleaned, new valve guides, new new valves, new seats, new seals, and that's it. Remain in stock configuration, and probably they will be enough. No? Yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll so. see. <laughs> First, we check if the rod is properly tied at the nominal torque and then we check the inside diameter. If you want, you can use a 3 point micrometer or you can use also a dial bore gauge. After we measure all the inside diameters of the con rods with the bearings inside, we'll measure also the rod journal diameter and we'll use these values to calculate the clearance, the clearance of the bearings. <laughs> 